Hi everyone, welcome back to the TensorFlow tutorial series. This time we'll continue to talk about how to plot the results and visualize the results of training. So we're going to based on the tutorial last time. So this code I will also upload to online. So you will find the link in my description. So feel free to download that. And based on this code, we're going to import the uh, matplotlib to visualize our results. So we just add a bunch of lines over here to visualize that. And uh, first, this tutorial won't take very long, I think. Uh, plot plt dot figure to build a figure and access equals to figure dot add uh, subplot and this plot says just one plot one 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 column and one row uh, it should be one row one column one figure that's it and access dot scatter to show all the real data or make up the data so x data and with y data that's similar to last last tutorial we uh, did over here and um, after that we just going to plt dot show show the data and uh, we're not going to print the loss instead of print loss we're going to plot that plot the uh, the improvement of these training steps so we're going to uh, get the prediction values prediction values value equals to session dot run because we want to uh, show the predicted value with the real data to show what's the difference between them and prediction so we're going to run the prediction over here to get the result and um, feed dictionary is equal to because as you can see this prediction is only related to the axis which is not related to this ys so we can just only input or fit the access data access data right we don't need to put the y-axis in this process uh, and uh, um, we're going to plot the prediction right so we're going to add the, the line ax dot plot this line this predicted prediction line and uh, to use the x data as the x axis and the prediction as the y value prediction as the prediction value as the y value uh, for this line obviously and use the color red color in this line and the line width is 5.5 units we just pause to go to sleep for 0.1 second uh, if we don't do this one which this one goes very really fast we can't find any <laughs> any result of that so we just uh, sleep for 0.1 seconds and we can uh, have a better visualization over there um, so that should be fine over there and um, uh, one more thing is that after we plot one lines this line one lines the second time we should remove this line and put plot another line on the data right to show the changes so we're going to remove this line uh, when the second time we plot this one so uh, we'll think about if we remove this line first or remove this line second once we plot this line um, in this case we're going to use the try because we need to remove this line first and then 
to plot the second line. So uh, once axis dot lines dot remove remove lines zero. If we have if this is the first time the try going to give you an error, so we accept uh, exception. This is basically to say we accept the all exception and pass, right? So if this is the first time, we just ignore the whole bunch of code over here, just plot the first line uh, in here and when the next time we are doing this one so we're going to remove the first line in uh, the line over here and then to plot another predicting line on that data so this is all and uh, yeah and one more thing we need to plot dot ion to uh, unblock the plotting process so if you know the PLT very well, you know that in Python or in a previous version of PLT, then you will use this one, uh, block equals to, is equals to false, to unblock the uh, plotting process. So for this time, for the updated version, we're going to use this one instead, uh, block equals to false. So yeah, I think that's it. And that is all for today, so we're going to try this. Why is doing nothing? Let me see. Yeah, because we need to put this one in front of show because once you show that without block, with um, with the block value, because the uh, block value is true. The default of block value is two. So if you show if you show first, then I O N, then the, this one will be blocked. So I will use the I O N first, then to unblock the show. Okay. It shows the it shows an error of access data is not defined. So what is wrong with that access data? How stupid is me? It's not xx data, it's just x data. So it just <laughs> just this one, x data, right? Then we plot. Okay, you will see the line is going to uh, very close, going to fit the data step by step. The initial line should, let me try again. Yeah, the initial line is just uh, very noise. Let me just show one more time. So let me just for a pause for one second to show it very clearly. So the in initial line, you see that is not very good for predicting. But once the line is getting very close to the data and learns more and more and the uh, loss the, and the loss is kept to reduce the line is finally looks at this one so at this one the loss of the uh, line is uh, reduced to a very low level so this line can uh, approximately to predict our uh, our real value right so this is all for today so you're going you know that how to visualize this uh, result this is very important because once you know the uh, how this new network doing then you know how to improve your coding so the next time we're going to talk about how many optimizer we have in tensorflow and what is the optimizer doing hope you will like this video and uh, you can subscribe to my channel to access more tensorflow tutorial and more machine learning tutorials as well if you have any questions just leave in the comments so i will check it out thank you all and see you next time bye